Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about a Midwest wax haul and warmer haul. Um, so uh, it is kind of like a fusion sensationals wax haul sort of thing. But basically, long story short, when I was traveling, uh, you know your home fragrance crazy person here. I had to go and sniff out some waxes, partially to kind of give myself a distraction mentally for a little bit, like an hour, but also uh, just because why not? And I did know that there's a there's a store called Myers uh, back where I'm from in Michigan originally, and we don't have those out in Southern California. So we have Walmarts, we have um, other things out here, but we do not have Myers. And the Sensationals Rimports Inc. brand uh, does make some specific waxes in the Fusion brand line um, that are only generally available in the Midwest area or region uh, and not really always available out here, if ever. But that goes for both warmers and wax melts. And so while I was home, uh, I picked up some that I found in the store because I was like, why not? And then I was like, why am I carrying wax home in my suitcases? And I was like, because I'm crazy. But anyways, I got some wax for us to go through as well as four different warmers. One of them is available. I've seen it at Walmarts as well. Um, but the other three are more of like at Meyer, and because Meyer doesn't offer shipping across the country, which I find strange, it's only like regionally, um, I wasn't able to order them and have them shipped to my address here. So that's why I picked them up there. All right, so that being said, what I think I'm gonna do is do the waxes in this video and then create a separate video for the four warmers. That way I can kind of get them all out of the boxes and not waste too much time with me just fighting with cardboard. Um, all right, so with fur without further ado, let's dive in. So this is the Fusion Wax brand and they do retail, I believe, for $2 US, um, just kind of like the Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals Wax does at Walmart uh, around the country. It's the same parent company, so uh, the size of the wax uh, clamshells are the same, two and a half ounces. So it's it's about the same. All right, so I picked up some scents that sound interesting. Um, there were plenty more that I just was not interested in um, or just didn't feel like spending arm, 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 a ton of money on all of the different ones that I was maybe sure that I wasn't going to be fond of. So let's start with this one because I've been flailing it around. It's sandalwood cedar. This is a nice, deep, woodsy, somewhat, um, somewhat cologne-y, slightly perfumey, woodsy scent. You do get cedar. It's like that... Um, it's almost like if you took a hint of the, the redwood cedar, whatever it's called, red cedar and whatever we had in Sensi and threw it in here, that slightly perfumery one, you get that sort of cedar note. And then you do have the rich kind of warm sandalwood underneath it. I don't really get a whole lot of other scent notes to this, which I'm actually okay with because I was really hoping it would just be kind of sandalwood and cedar. And for the most part, it lives up to that expectation. Now, it doesn't smell particularly strong, which I am a little concerned about because usually woodsy scents are stronger. And this one feels quite muted on cold. Um, at least relative to some of the other ones that I've smelled from the same brand in terms of woodsy and strong scents. So I expect that this would be good in like a bedroom or a medium to small size room rather than a large open space. But it does have like a, even a hint of muskiness to it that I just really appreciate. So that is sandalwood cedar. And if any of you live in the Midwest and I end up loving one of these, I may have to uh, Venmo you to send me some. <laughs> All right, or my parents, that works too. Next one is Oud Noir. So this looks like, based on the picture, oud wood, a smoky note, maybe some amber. Let's find out. And it's like almost a black uh, wax. So this is very much a woodsy, smoky sort of scent. You do get an amber vibe to this, if not a caramel vibe. No, it's definitely a deep, like, dark amber oud wood. And then a smoky sort of, like, not campfire, but kind of like that 
charred, smoky wood vibe. Kind of akin to Palo Santo in the smoky notes, almost like an incense quality. Uh, if you've smelled the scent Amber Road from Scentsy, this is almost like a deeper, richer version of that. Whereas that one's a little bit more um, mid middle ground, medium, in terms of like the amber and woodsy kind of qualities to it. Um, the incense notes are almost identical, but like this has a deeper, woodsier um, base to it than Amber Road does. So if you loved Amber Road from Scentsy, you'd probably love this scent. It's very much, very much similar to that. All right, next we have Old Fashioned Vanilla. This looks like vanilla ice cream. Um, and this smells like vanilla cake a little bit to me, on cold at least. But then it has like that, it's, it's, not, it's not baked vanilla cake. It's like when you mix all the wet and dry ingredients together and you have this big, big jar or bowl of vanilla cake dough that's ready to go in the cake pan and bake. That's what this smells like. You get that creamy vanilla, that very fresh like bakery vanilla, that doughy vibe, but there's like a, a wetness to this almost. Not aquatic, but like that wet dough sort of quality in essence in scent. Where it's like, it's definitely not quite the ice cream vibe, but it could be because it, it has that little bit like milky creaminess and maybe that's like the wetness I'm picking up on. Either way, it was very nice. It reminded me of a old, I think soybeans wax that I really loved uh, and those were discontinued years ago. And so um, I was really excited to find something that kind of reminded me of that. And it also kind of reminded me of my grandmother's like baking on Sundays or Saturdays when I was growing up very much like a bakery sort of based vanilla scent. Next we have Beachfront. This one is a very like fresh, slightly coconutty vibed scent. It's, it's very fresh. It has like a floral note to it, like some sort of blossom, floral blossom on the beach. Um, it's not super sandy. It's more of like fresh, clean air, not not an ozone for breeze sort of fresh, clean air, but like a floral breezy air. Maybe a hint of pineapple. There's like a creaminess. I would guess it's like a coconut vibe, but it's not heavy. Almost more of like a coconut water. And then there's like a hint of like a woodsy sort of slightly toasty note to this. It's really nice. It gives me like a less pineapple-y mahalo coconut vibe from Scentsy. It's kind of like that sort of quality of freshness um, or mineral oasis from Once Upon a Time, but a little creamier, a little bit more coconutty, a little bit more grounded, but very nice scent, very light, very, very summery vibes. Next we have Honeysuckle, which let's, I, I remember this being pretty dead on for Honeysuckle. There is a bit of a sweetness more to this than the mainstays like Wild Honeysuckle, which is like a yellow um, sticker in front. But it's almost identical to that, if not a little bit more dewy and aquatic to it. But otherwise it's like, it's Honeysuckle. It's also, it may be like very much a dupe of Honeysuckle Nectar, which is a sensational scent that is uh, in Walmart. In fact, it might be that exact same scent because I think that that is also this color as well. But I wanted to get it anyways because I love Honeysuckle scents and I wanted to compare it. So most likely it's a dupe because they're both made from Rimports but, and just rebranded, but I figured I'd try it anyway. Next we have Amber Cashmere. And I think this is probably a dupe of Cashmere and Amber from uh, the Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens line. In fact, I would be very surprised if it wasn't, but uh, maybe I just don't remember how that one smelled, but I don't remember it smelling like this. This actually gives me more of a Cashmere vibe. 
with undertones of amber, whereas the other one was more like amber sweet with some musky, musty notes of cashmere. But this is what I expect when I like open a drawer with cashmere sweaters to kind of smell like. It almost has like a cinnamony note to it or like a gingery, gingerbread sort of quality ginger cookie note. But it's very nice. It's it's not overly musty. It's not like um, Sensi's cashmere, which almost had a musty quality to it. This is a little bit more um, like ginger snap cookie vibe rather than must. And it's nice. It's nice. Um, I don't know if it's like, woo, but I, I was like, well, let's try it. Why not? Next, we have French lilac, which uh, I love lilac scents. This is different from what I vaguely remember, lilac flowers or whatever it's called from Better Homes and Gardens. And they actually had a couple different lilac scents there and lilac, lilac, whatever. Anyways, this one just smelled different and more fresh and um, clean than some, a couple of the other ones that were there. Uh, and I wanted to compare it to the, the lilac scents that I do have from Better Homes and Gardens. This may be in fact a dupe of that or the same one just repackaged, but I wasn't sure and so I picked it up just to be safe. But that is a fresh floral. All right, then we have exotic sandalwood. You seeing a trend here, woodsy florals? This is, um, you do get sandalwood, but there is like a um, kind of charred, burnt note to this. And like an almost, it's not an incense vibe, but there is a spice sort of undertone to this scent, the exotic quality to it, if you will. It's like, you get the sandalwood, you get like a slight smoke. It almost gives me like, not Palo Santo, but Palo Santo-esque vibes, but with sandalwood. It's very similar in that sense. Um, you have like a little bit of a charred wood vibe and then like a heavy, heavy, deep, not super tingly, spice heavy, um, but deeper, heavy, incense -y vibe. Almost more musk cologne rather than incense musk. It's nice. It's, it's definitely a more masculine scent, definitely a heavier scent. So, um, maybe an evening or when you're wanting something that's to kind of break up the monotony of the normal floral, fruity, summery scents, this might be a, a one to pick up, um, at least on cold. All right, and then, as I have my eye bother me, uh, the rest of these, the last, what are these, 13 of these? These are from the new Fusion Destination uh, collection. I, or, I don't know if it's new, but, it's basically 13 different scents that are inspired by different locations uh, around the globe. I think these are all based on like vacation-y destinations rather than just like a random place. Um, but they are, they're interesting and I'm really curious to see how they all smell. And I did find a couple of these at a Walmart. Um, I do believe Walmart sells some of them online, but I don't think that they sell the entirety of the collection. Uh, so, that being said, let's dive in. We have Tahiti Coconut. So first we're going to Tahiti, guys. I've always wanted to. This is a, this reminds me almost of a dupe. Not quite, but this is giving me strong Pacific Coast Highway vibes from Sensationals. I think that's the one that made it. It's, it's very similar. You get that like dewy, fresh, pineapple-y, aquatic. If I didn't know better, I would probably guess that they're very similar um, in scent notes and overall throw, but if you like Pacific Coast Highway, you probably like this one. All right, Icelandic Lights is the next one. This one is kind of like a cedar scent. It's a uh, cologne based. Um, there's a little bit of a soapy quality to this. 
It kind of reminds me if you took um, Illusion from Sensationals. I'm going to get them mixed up. Yeah, Sensationals. And mixed it with a little bit of uh, Stormy Autumn Nights, I think is the one that it is. Where it's a little bit more aquatic, but cologne-y. It's kind of like a weird mix of the two of those to me. Because you get like a cedar sort of vibe from it, or like that woodsy sort of vibe. But then on this side, it's more of that like aquatic, fresh blast of um, air vibe. So it's kind of, like I said, Stormy Autumn Nights, I think it is, uh, or Stormy Skies, or whatever it's called, Autumn Skies, and Illusion kind of mixed together. Um, what is next? We have Bali Babe. This one... This is a sweet, this kind of reminds me of Mahalo Coconut from Sensi. It's a sweet, almost, um, it kind of gives me like a wine cooler or like a, a, um, a, like a tropical drink at the beach sort of vibe. It almost has a slight suntan lotion vibe to it, kind of like I, I love By the Pool from Better Homes and Gardens. But just a hint of it rather than straight up like suntan lotion or whatever it smells like. There is a freshness to this. There's almost like a slightly floral blossom note, um, if I had to guess. And it's, it's just, it's refreshing and there's a fruity overtone to it. So this is very tropical, very much like if you're, if you're familiar with the scent from Scentsy, Mahalo Coconut, this is going to be along those vibes. All right, next we have Machu Picchu Ruins. It's green wax. I'm guessing it's going to be woodsy of some sort. All right, so this is earthen. I get like a moss tone to this. Now I either get like a vetiver or a bergamot or like a mix of both. This is like a limey citrusy quality. So I'm going to go with bergamot. But then I also feel like there's a soapy quality to this and a little bit of a hint of sage. It gives me... If you're familiar with Fearless by Nature, like the Sven scent, if you mix that with... Um, like sea salt and avocado from Scentsy, I feel like you get something similar to this. Not not exact by any means, but it has a soapy, slightly masculine, green. Um, there's almost like a peppery note to this too. Yeah, like just like a hint of like a black pepper or a pink pepper or something. Yeah, like that. It's not like spicy otherwise, but it has like a peppery tone to it. And then like a hint of that like bergamot, zesty lime overtone. But it's not, it's not overly bergamot. If it is bergamot, I don't know. I don't have the scent notes. Um, I wish they would have put the scent notes on here. That would have been nice because what am I supposed to assume Machu Picchu smells like? But it's a very like fresh, greensy, slopey sort of scent with a sort of air towards the cologne. All right, next we have Paris. We're flying all over the globe. Light pink wax. And this, this is, this is a dupe of something. It's gotta be, I've smelled this before. I've melted this before. It's another Rimports wax. So this is like, there's a citrus note to this. There's a berry note to this. Um, Ooh, there's a something note to this that I am not enjoying. What is that? Like a strawberry maybe note to this. It's almost like a marmalade sort of quality on this side. Um, it smells like a fancy bathroom, like citrusy bathroom cleaner or bathroom soap but more perfumey. 
Like this would be a great bathroom scent. Like, you know, you see like those bougie pictures and they're all like pristine and clean and whatever else. This is like a scent straight from there. There's like a soapy floral maybe note to this. It's very heavy on the citrus side of things though. So yeah, it just like, it's almost a stinging citrus. <laughs> And then there's like, oh, I don't know what that note is in there. It's driving me nuts. But there's like an off note. It's not like... It's like someone was washing their hair, like shampooing their hair, and like they left the water in the bathtub or the shower. And so like the old fragrance from the shampoo is still like permeating, but it's not quite like fresh out of the bottle smell. So it's kind of like watered down and mixed with the other like body wash and... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this one. Maybe, maybe not so much, but that's Paris, at least to my nose. <sighs> maybe I should get like coffee beans or something. Morocco Magic is next. This looks like it's a woodsy, clean, cozy vibe. If you like something like Cuddle Up, uh, you might like this. It's more, it's more like a home cozy spiciness. I've smelled this one before. What is this? There's like a warm, cozy, like a light wood sort of vibe to this. There's like a fresh overtone I can't quite pick out yet. But it is wood based, woody based. Or maybe spice based or a mix of both. I think what they're going for is like the Moroccan, like, cause there's a picture of like the evening and like people on camels. So I'm guessing they're going for like a sand sort of scented vibe, sand and incense. And I can kind of get that. It's giving me like a, like a wood, like unfinished wood slash spice. I want to say coriander, but I don't think that's what this smells like at all. Maybe, maybe like a clove sort of vibe in here. I don't know. I think my nose is also like burnt out from smelling all the different scents. Um, but it's like that sandy, spicy, not incense spice, but just like almost like kitchen spice. But not, not sweet. There's no sweetness to this. So it gives it that kind of like hint, like you think it's like a little bit of a woodsy spice scent. It's not bad. All right, let's see if I can make it through these last six. My nose is like already on fire. Joshua Tree Desert. I've been there. It's beautiful. It doesn't smell like it all. Um... Very woodsy, almost like a green tree, which is not what I would expect a Joshua tree to smell like, nor do I think it smells like this. It almost smells like a Christmas scent, like a green tree, woodsy scent. I feel like it's a dupe of something that they have in a holiday scent, but now they have... <sighs> what does this remind me of? There's a scent... I can picture the label. It's a Better Homes and Gardens holiday scent. They had it last year. I want to say it's called like Santa's Workshop, but that's not the name. Anyways, it's a tree woodsy sort of smell. Like it's like fresh cut wood slash woodsy green tree. Colony vibe. It kind of gives me Rustic Lodge vibes from Scentsy. It's very similar to that now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, so if you liked Rustic Lodge from Sensi, this one is very, very much along those lines. Joshua Tree Desert. All right, next we have Rio de Janeiro Sun. Which just smells like sun-kissed citrus to me from Sensi. Or just any citrus scent. Oh, no, there's like a peach or something in here. Peach or pineapple. It's like a muted version of summer fruit medley from Better Homes and Gardens. 
with a lot more citrus, like a lot more orange to it. It does remind me of Sunkissed Citrus from Scentsy or Oodles of Orange from Scentsy. Probably more like Oodles of Orange that's coming in our Bring Back My Bar this, this month. Very much similar to that. Not a bad scent, but very, very going with the citrusy vibe for Sunrise. Next, we have Venice Gondolas. Now we're in Italy. It's a light pink. This is like a floral, like a soft... It's like a soft, fresh floral, maybe like a plumeria or a lily. <sighs> Definitely not gardenia. It's not soapy enough to be a gardenia or a violet. It gives me like a plumeria, lily, water lily sort of vibe. There's a slight aquaticness to it. It's perfumey, but it's not soapy. It also kind of reminds me of a, of a Hobby Lobby, Darcy and David scent. Uh, I will never remember what it is, but it's another one that's a similar colored wax too. Yeah, very, very much like a soft floral perfumey sort of scent. Not bad. Three more guys. We have Havana Nights. Nice, deep indigo. Ooh, this is like spicy. Spicy and cologne. This is like if I had a cucumber jalapeno margarita and just was huffing it. Or like a cucumber jalapeno something. But it's not cucumber. It also kind of smells like Sherwin-Williams paint department. And woods. It's a cologne scent. It's a spicy cologne with a floral. It does give me a little bit of a hint of Sensi's thunderstorm vibes because there's like an aquatic component to it as well. Aquatic floral. That's what it, you know what? I take back some of those other comments. I think this is very much like, if you like Sensi's thunderstorm, which is no longer available, and it was like that cologne aquatic right before or right after the thunderstorm vibe. This is almost like a dupe for that. Yeah. So yeah, if you missed thunderstorm from Sensi, Havana Nights is a very similar, at least on cold, scent. All right, then we have the Capri Coast. This one, it's a blue. This one, I lied, this one is kind of more like Pacific Coast Highway than the Tahiti Coconut or whatever the other one was that I said was like this. This is a lot more close to that vibe. Although it's less pineapple-y, so it's like Pacific Coast Highway minus pineapple and more fresh. Maybe even a hint of floral to it. Very aquatic. Very fresh. No woodsy or spice notes to this. Yeah, so I, I mean, I didn't expect many of these to be particularly um, spicy or anything bakery because they're mostly destinations, but I expected them to be mostly fresh or clean or something like that or woodsy, um, but they are definitely in that category. And then we have Spanish Vineyard, it's the green. This reminds me of Goose Creek's uh, Tuscan Vineyards, I think is what it's called. You get a grape scent, but you also get like this fresh greens vibe to it. Yeah, this is very much almost a dupe of Goose Creek Candles Tuscan Vineyards, I think it's called. A little bit less... Um, in your face grape though. It's like a rich or deep grape, almost like a plummy grape. But very much on that same sort of vibe. So if you were missing that particular scent from Goose Creek Candle, maybe pick up a bar of this. 
And that brings us to the end of this madness. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some interesting scents that might have piqued your interest, especially if you're in the Midwest region where Myers uh, is available so that you can go and find these. Um, these are not, to my knowledge, going to be available at Walmart. I have seen, however, a few of the destination ones, uh, based ones at uh, Walmart, but they weren't like mountains of them. It was just like a random little tray of them and that was it. So I don't know if they'll show up there later. It's possible, but they are fusion brands. So likely you will have limited luck if you're trying to find them on the West Coast, uh, like myself. Uh, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. If it was helpful or informative, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I will see you in our next video. And we are going to check a look, check a look, take a look at those four warmers that I picked up in uh, a cup coming video as well. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.